Hey guys, welcome back. This is Visual Intelligence and welcome to another uh, exciting graphics tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be using uh, Photoshop to recreate this kind of uh, effect. As you can see, it looks like some kind of a uh, text uh, or paper fold um, text. As you can see, you can see a little bit of a shadow and then some highlights on the edges. I'm, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that really quick. Let's, let me just zoom out so you can see what the final image looks like. So there are several things you can learn in this tutorial, such as how to make this kind of the, uh, the background texture, as well as this uh, text effect. So let's take Control N to create a new document. Let's do 1920 by 1080. Let's keep the resolution to 72 pixels per inch since we're not going to be printing that. Uh, if you want to print it out someday, you can uh, just change that to 300 or so. Color mode RGB 8-bit and the background we don't really care. Let's just change the uh, title to something like text effect. And I'm not the best <laughs> creative person with titles. so. Say it okay. All right. Control zero to uh, zoom into the canvas. So what I want to do first is I want to uh, pick some red color. So some something like that. Let me just um, show you what the uh, code looks like. So it's ee two three two three for the uh, red that I'll be using if you want to use the same red as I do so hold on alt and hit delete and this will fill your uh, background with that color let's create a uh, new adjustment layer let's go to the uh, create adjustment fill or adjustment layer button let's go with gradient and uh, let's change the colors from black to white let's hit ok and uh, let's hit OK once more. Let's play with the blending mode. Let's try overlay. Overlay looks good, but that's not what we are, uh, are going for. So let's go with multiply. Multiply looks good. Let's change the opacity a little bit. Then we get something like that. And after thinking, maybe you want to use the uh, retro red. FF0000 maybe that will work better so let's go back to our background all delete to fill that and this is looking uh, pretty good already that's that's cool let's go ahead and add a new layer let's go to filter and then render clouds and what we want to do is we want to change your uh, uh, foreground color to black or you can just hit D to restore the default background so what we can what we want to do now is we want to uh, refill this effect we don't really want uh, from uh, red to white we want from black to white so you can go ahead and go to filter render clouds again and this will do the same job or you can go and repeat the last uh, effect that you filtered that you applied by just hitting ctrl F and if you do, don't really like the pattern, you can just control F once more and uh, sorry, control F, and this will change it for you. So what you want to do now is you want to go to filter again, go to filter gallery, and what you want to do is you want to browse to sketch folder, and you want to apply a half tone pattern. And uh, my parameters here is 12 for the size and 45 for the contrast. And let's hit OK. Let's see how that looks. As you can see, it looks really good. And uh, what, we want, what we are doing right now is we're just recreating this kind of uh, pattern. So let's go back to our document. Let's change the uh, blending mode to uh, multiply again. You can see it looks really um, jagged. Let's uh, change it to soft light. As you can see, soft light looks pretty good. You you just want to uh, really uh, turn down the opacity or the fill a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. 
and that's our uh, background so let's now create a new text and what you want to do to do that is you want to just hit T for the type tool or you can uh, get it from here you just want to click on your uh, document and this will create a point text for you let's create something uh, random like um, text why not let's hit control T to uh, bring the free transform tool and resize that quite a bit as you can see that's not the uh, font that I want so let's go to window and then bring our characters panel and what we want to do is we want to change the uh, type to the text to um, something really simple like our example we don't want to be too fancy with this kind of effect it's already uh, looking good without using a fancy um, font and uh, whatever you use make sure not to use Comic Sans if you are new to graphics design and you use uh, Comic Sans I don't expect a lot of great feedback on your work I'm just saying so let's do something really uh, really um, uh, simple like Open Sans you can download that for free it's not uh, built in into windows let's go with open sans bold oh, that's looking good let's change the uh, kerning back to zero or the letter tracking maybe we want to even uh, make it minus 100 and see how that looks you can even uh, click on this icon and drag to the left and uh, this will uh, change it a little bit more so what we want to do is we want to really intersect the characters which with each other so they give us uh, some kind of shadow change the text to uh, text color to white and that's looking uh, pretty good for the size let's go with uh, more than that let's resize that and see how that looks maybe we want 500 points Yep, that's looking pretty good and depending on how much uh, f letters or uh, how long is your text uh, it's gonna be different for you and as you can see I don't really like this uh, edge between the X and T so I really want it to look like the intersecting of the X and E so let's go ahead and select our X hopefully that's our X and let's go to our characters panel and we want to uh, increase the tracking a little bit alright so something like that looks pretty good let's go back to control zero to see everything and this looking perfect for our for our purposes so that's looking pretty good so now we want to add this kind of uh, effect to our text so what you want to do you want to go to your um, layer styles you want to add some drop shadow and we don't want to be too fancy uh, the built-in uh, the default drop shadow already looking pretty good let's just, let's just uh, decrease the distance maybe 90 degrees for the angle and let's decrease the opacity a little bit maybe something like 40 or 50 percent just want that slight shadow as you can see just to give some depth to our image you want to go and hit uh, bevel and emboss what I want to do is I want to change the size to zero I change that angle to uh, 90 if it's not 90 already should be different since we changed the uh, 90 degrees in here and I uh, used a global light so yeah that's looking pretty good we just want to uh, decrease the opacity of the shadow on the Babylon boss to something like 20 or 25 and that should be enough for our purposes maybe we want to add a gradient overlay and let's just change the gradient to uh, from slight gray to white and this will make it look perfect Hit control 1 and check uh, what our text looks like yeah as you can see it looks great 
what we want to do now is we want to add the folding uh, effect and a really cool way to do that is um, actually that's not a cool way to do that but <laughs> I guess it's the only way to do that <laughs> I'm not sure if there is another way but uh, that's how I do it <laughs> whatever so let's hit uh, create a new layer button and create a new layer let's hit our pen tool and now uh, is the part where you want to be really creative so what do you what do you think there should be a shadow right in this area I'm not sure but uh, but uh, let's do something like uh, let's zoom in a little bit more and let's select this uh, square right here hold shift to maintain uh, the angle let's create a square it doesn't have to be perfect actually it does have to be perfect so let's hit control Y on your pen tool and uh, click and drag and this will sit, select this point you want to use your arrows tool to drag it up a little bit and that's looking perfect you want to right click you want to right click and then and then what you want to do is make a selection it's looking good and you want to hit the brush tool change the size quite a bit to maybe 60 pixel and let's click and drag as you can see it's too uh, intense so let's change the opacity to something like 10% Let's do the same. And let's click once in the edge. Hold on shift and click in the other edge. And as you can see, this creates your uh, little shadow. But as you can see, it's really slight. So what you can do is you can uh, redo the same effect. Click, shift and then click back. And this will do make it a little bit harder for you as you can see we have some uh, some drop up in the uh, background and we don't want that we just want it to be uh, on the text itself so what you can do is you can right click on the layer and create a clip and mask and this won't work properly since we have a gradient overlay so what you can do is you you can uh, click on the text control G to make it inside of a group let's name the group to text and then apply this effect onto that group and this will get rid of your edges as you can see uh, in here we don't really like that edge as well so let's uh, just delete it using the eraser tool decrease the size and you just want to delete that Hit Control minus to zoom out, and as you can see, that's looking now uh, pretty good. Let's go back to uh, our text once more. Maybe we want the X uh, this time to be on top, so let's hit the pen tool once more. Let's click somewhere on our text, and let's click up a little bit we just want to select this area and let's zoom in and uh, make sure it's uh, looking perfect yep that's looking great maybe we want to even yeah so right click make selection with the brush tool you can just brush again and maybe once more maybe you want to decrease the brush size a little bit and then rebrush on the edges to make them look a little bit more so control D to, to uh, deselect control 0 to zoom out and see how that looks as you can see it looks great now let's go back to uh, the bottom right here the pen tool 
let's click once on the edge right here and then click and drag on this uh, intersection and this will make it a little bit curvy and then you want to click somewhere around here maybe you want to click and drag as well and then you just wanna go back to your uh, selection right click and then create a selection and by the way I'm doing all these shadows in one layer you can uh, do them in separate layers uh, just to be less distractive Control shift I to invert selection and then you want to brush your text right here once again decrease the brush size and uh, brush again so Control D to deselect. Control zero to zoom out. And that's looking perfect, you know, as demonstration. I would really spend a lot more time and uh, find perfect edges like uh, the ones I use in this example. And, I already, and uh, what I did was I uh, made the text uh, non-editable by rasterizing it and uh, just apply whatever I want in it. So yeah, let's go back to our text control uh, plus to zoom in and let's do the same effect between the X and T. So P4 pen tool, click once, click and drag on the intersection and then click and drag once more. right click make selection and then B for brush make it a little bit uh, bigger we want our uh, good old 60 and let's brush on this area and make sure by the way the hardness is zero so let's brush one more and let's decrease the size a little bit and brush the edges Control D to deselect that So that's looking pretty good. What you can do also is if you hit Control Shift Y to um, invert selection, you can uh, hit X to invert your background or foreground color, and you can uh, brush on the other side, and this will make a highlight for you if you are using another color. So let's hit Control Zero to zoom back out, and as you can see, that's the effect we want. You know, it doesn't look uh, so perfect in this example. I really want to go quick, but uh, that's pretty much it. What I did was I uh, added some uh, some pattern overlay on you on the text to make it look a little bit better. And uh, basically, that's just a, a style I am using. I'll save that and uh, upload it so you guys can download and uh, use as well. So let's click on it. And as you can see, it gives. Uh, make sure you are uh, on your text group layer, and then click on it, and then and this will create this kind of effect for you. And what's this effect is basically just a pattern overlay with this kind of pattern. And what you can do is you can make it uh, overlay, and this will only make it visible on the shadows. And that's uh, also a quick an easy way to make it look a little bit more real so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope this helped anyone out make sure to uh, leave a like comment and subscribe uh, watch other videos if you enjoyed that one I do also upload cinema 4d tutorials if you are interested in uh, learning that software so once again, that was Visual Intelligence. Thank you for watching and see you guys next week.